commandment. All right, man, let's see if this thing wants to behave today. I hope it will. I disabled a thing that hopefully should make it not crash so much, but we'll see. Oh, we got the resolution straight off the ass. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yes, boys, you detected I'm about to stream and you start mailing. We're about to go to the Cantuina to talk to uh, Candorius about a girl or something. Still not sure what Cantina it is. Let's start with the closest. <laughs> oh. Yes, boys. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Are you? Oh, I saw you in the swoop race. Very impressive. You seem like you know how to get results. That's just the kind of person I'm looking for. That's some that's some logic right there. Who are you? My name's Candorus Ordo. I work for Davik Kang in the exchange. The hours aren't great, but they promised me a fortune to work for them and I had nothing better to do. Mandalorian mercs like me are in high demand. But lately, Davik hasn't been paying me what he promised. I don't like getting cheated. So I figure it's time for me to break the Sith quarantine and get off this backwater planet. How do you plan to do that? I've got a plan to escape, Taras, but I can't do it alone. I need someone I know can get the job done to help me. That's where you come in. Careful, mercs like this having a lick of conscience. They'll betray you in a heartbeat. This could be a trap. I ain't talking to you. I'm talking with your friend, aren't I? I saw you win that swoop race and started thinking. Anyone crazy enough to race like that is probably crazy enough to break into the Sith military base. I need someone to steal the Sith launch codes from the base. Without those codes, any ship leaving the atmosphere will be disintegrated by the Sith fleet's automated defense guns. What's the it for me? Here's the deal. You bring me those launch codes, and I can provide the vehicle to get us off the planet. Davik's flagship, the Ebon Hawk. Alright, so Sprula and Verst. Hey, boys. Hit it. There we go. Uh, how are you going to manage that? Uh-uh-uh. Not yet. First you bring me the launch codes. Then I'll tell you the rest of my plan. What a fine man. How do I manage military base? Getting in won't be easy. The Sith base is protected by an encrypted security system. It would take a top-of-the-line astromech droid to slice through it. Lucky for you, I know just the place to get a droid like that. Davik was having one custom built by Janice Nall. Just tell her Kander is sent you and she'll sell you the droid. Then you can use it to get the launch codes from the Sith base. Well, won't you be huffy? Davik paid for the droid, but I'm the guy he put in charge of the mission. He won't care how I come up with those codes. Normally I do this myself, but everyone knows who I work for. If I broke into the Sith base, they'd send an army down on Davik's estate to get those codes back. That's why I need you. All right. I don't sense any deception from him, which is surprising. This may be exactly what we need. Sooner or later, you'll figure this out. Either we work together or we both stay stuck here on Taurus. Ow. Come back and speak to me again when you've come to your senses. Wait, did I say no? <laughs> Boys, don't play it. That's why you'd be back. Neither of us is getting off this planet unless we work together. But we've got a small problem. I haven't heard about oh. anyone breaking into the military base yet, so I know you don't have those departure codes. <laughs> if voice. you want me to help you, you've got to bring something to the table. So until you get those codes, we really don't have much to talk about. All right, I'll back the codes, Bing. Glad to hear it. I'll be waiting right, right here. What a waiter! A gum sub. Okay, so... 
I can't click stuff properly in the menu. I can here, but not otherwise. I think it may have something to do with uh, with some bullshit. Uh, I turned off uh, Windows uh, video fix for some thing. But supposedly that's what causes some of the crashes. So hopefully that helps, but it means I can't click things in dialogue. Or in the menu apparently, I just have to click normally. Okay, I can't see if you're in the middle of the screen. Ha. Ah, jokes on you, are you Google the Obia O. Kid it yes. Rub your chin. Listen right, to in the me. minium. People. Once there again, Twitter or Discord is the place Heed to get notifications. Don't count on Twitch for it. Twitch will curate. Hi. Hachu a punky. Jishawa a nibon ka sha chona si ichua byong bo joni. Mina mamba tanga bok sha um nak nong. Kin kun shin shin kin. I got. Droid for Candorus. Mokao danya foki. Chachiska do punta kakasparka. Two thousand credits. That's outrageous. I'll have. Genchopa chawi ti chok twis yun kun. What to ya? Fifteen hundred, all right. Tinku ukapa. Topa no aska. I bet the droid will be ridiculously loud. Sorry, Garth. Wait, what? Yes! Alright, Tapas. Yeah, I think Discord's probably the better one. Oh, fucking ass. Mm. Give me one more aim. Guess this is what this ass does. I'm not going to be using this thing much, I think. Noisy. Commandments. Yeah, shoot more good with the pew pew. And he really is not getting a lot of skills. Sure. Considering. Also, I think I real, uh, realized where this guy. Sure. The uh, the main character's voice comes from. Right, Minstar. Uh. I think it's the guy that voices Virgil in. Uh, in what's the game? Arcanum. Commandment. Yes. Military base, mate. All right, now you go back in the bin. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Someone who actually speaks with us. No idea, tap dance. Uh oh. Uh, I think it's because the droid is just louder and it's still on the voice slider, which I have up fairly high so we can hear everyone else. 
I'm in a meeting, don't worry. I know where I have to go. Kipuna na bonsha. Kava dumpa kupaliaya mokakakincha na guat na bonkon. One. 50 credits. Best I can do. Shi kakachin awana wamata. Bona na kachu. Kicha bad. Okay. Well, that was easy. <laughs> Alright, you can, uh, can't you? Let's try that. Same, fuck you. Oh, nice. We stun. Am I blowing up? Yes. Oh, sneak attack, motherfucker. Come on. Yes. Fucking lies. Uh, I don't know. Oh boy, reception. Are you? Two spikes. Compute edge. I log out. Fuck that. Not made of spikes. Don't call me Spikeford after all. Ouch. What can I do? Oh, yeah, stun droid score. Stun destroyed a bunch. Yes? Yeah, isn't that yes? That sounds very much like Virgil. Yes, it's done. Come on. Oh, how swell. You shall fall. There. <laughs> Oh, she's almost nearly died. God damn. Yes. Hail. He called me heals his team sure. foot. What a bunch of shit. Damn it, fuck knuckle. Oh, look at that sneak attack. <laughs> Your hoink. What? Yes. Yes. Commandment. <laughs> How much oom does she have? Four ass, goddamn. Goth, you short. Mm. Is 
here. I can't click these buttons with the mouse, but I can I can click the smaller ones. But is this? Oh, it's this guy, Mr. Corpse Cleaner guy. Oh, I can click my Okay. What a fucking system. Jawana bota ayu at tahunga cha kanki dora. Kachikuita hodonga. Topa da bunk walia gando do nano chut chut. Good man verse. Bola wana chitne. Bamuli slemo. Tiska du suki gumba na bona na kachu. Ag to inkotu. Topa da bunk walia gando nago chut chut. Chut chut indeed. Chut chut. Oh, I can click them now. Weird. Good man for keeping it vague there, Versti, as well. What a suit. You may say NP, I say nice. No. Gonna run straight through it. Damn. Let's go. Fucking guitarlos. Fucking like technicians. This one's mine. Oh yeah. What can I do? Yes? Oh, yeah, yeah. They call me Eyebrow Virgil for it. I'm not fucking made of spikes. God damn. Is this a radiation hole? Should I jump in it? I can't. They do! That shit's very important. It's where it's closest to the brain. Security robot. This is where we come from. Armory, I can do it. No problem. Got it. Bet that this dumb fucking robot. No. Dumb shit. Let's go! Fuck bags. There's no way for me to make them just stand still either. The hell's an air pod? Yes, boys. Oh, well, now I can click him. Weird. I'm gonna help help you boys. Oh, I see shit phones. Oh, that boy's throwing grenade. Captain Sif, Captain Sif, calling Captain Sif, Captain Sif, Captain Sif. Don't up blow me now. What? Uh. Ready. <laughs> Damn it, Bastille. Yes, boys. Yeah. Like you asked for this. Oh. Down you go. One of those, why would anyone buy that? Like and then you see people with them. Things. Oh. 
Might turn the sound effect sound a little, I guess. Yeah, in-ear headphones are also garbage. Oh, they call me Mr. Ding Ding as well. Ooh, attributes. Get that up to a plus three, yeah? Yeah, as I intended. Yes, little boys. How can I help you? Yeah, fucking Apple. Oh boy, I want to be Ricardo. <sighs> Empathery. You get the last duelist. Scuntrol's luck level 12. Okay, there was the man. Sure. Call me Duel Master DK. DK, the D in DK is for Duel Master, and the Duel Master is because I'm a Duel Master. Yes, boys! In fact, I was Duel Master twice. Yes. I was Duel Duel Master. Yes, Kitty. How can I help you? Sure. Let's see what he wants, baby. The meaning was da nibbles. Hmm. Oh, you do. It's a dude. Yes. Sure. Done it. Yes. No. Ballista, you suck. <laughs> oh, yo, yo. Oh, that guy's gonna get another door. What can I do? Oh, we stunned him. What can I do? Sneak attack for Dungulus, quick! Oh, look at that. Ugh. Time to rumble! <laughs> oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Pass card and energy ass we have. Let me actually have a look at it. Your feet again. Mm. Mm. Hmm. Wonder if that works on grenades. Probably not, that would be ridiculous.
What can I do? Heal me, heal me. I sit here and, and fart a bit until we can get healed properly. Yes, ready. I'm here. This is oom. Fine. Yes, but uh oh. Katie, what's the meaning? I have now nibbled. Now I must go back and tell where. Oh, the screen's going all blue. Fog. Boys, be quiet. He was actually wearing a like a slut outfit earlier. I'm not sure how to feel about that. What yes. can I do? I keep trying to click them to select them. Yeah, I'm to rumble. Saved, what's the meaning? Castle, beep boop, fuck the turret. I'm here. Let Darth, yes. goddammit. At least he's not that guy in the. Uh, in Parasite Eve that wears flesh colored trousers. Which I still think is body paint. Ready. I'm here. Yes? What? Ah, oh, nice. Ugh, not quite, not quite so nice. Ready. What is her defense? 18, noob. Wait, hold on. Let me test something. Uh, oh, I can't check it now. God damn it. I want to see if he gets XP if he's downed. I don't think so. I hope so, because that would be very lame. It seems so, yeah. Yes. Right, ballistic, we sorted it. Now heal us all for free. Sure. Did steal everything and uh, acquire everything in here, didn't I? Uh, yes, I think so. Her mana comes back slowly. No crashes yet. I haven't been going for that long. I'm hoping the thing fixed it. What can I do? Fucking sort us out. What? Swirls Nigel. Could have, should have called him Swiles. God damn it. Oh, looks boss boss badly. Yes. Uh huh. Yes. No. <sighs> and eats antidote kit like asshole. Who dares to break my meditation? You will pay for interrupting my... Wait. 
I sense the Force is strong with you. Very strong. Who would have thought a Force Adept could be found on this insignificant planet? But your talent is no match for a disciple of the dark side. What a baldy. I was gonna... Introduce myself, but I'm not allowed. Yeah, you're a twat. I killed you. Ah, yes. Feed the hatred and anger within yourself. Call upon the power of the dark side. But not even that can save you now. This meeting is a stroke of luck for me. My master will surely reward me with my lightsaber once I kill you. Yeah, you don't even have a lightsaber, you fucking donkey. Thou art budget, knave. Where'd my music go? What sure. Can I do? There it is. <laughs> Look at him. Oi. I'm here. Uh huh. Yes. <laughs> Ready. Oh, sure. He's dead already. Damn it. Strongness thingies. But they talk about it earlier, like these energy shields, it's kind of Dune-ish. Uh, stuff doesn't really get through well. Like the laser thingies, so they use the blade. The strong, uh, the slow blade enters the ass and all that. Plus, it needs to look cool. I always thought that settings that only have ranged weapons are always boring. Did I get the thing? I have them. I've got them. There probably is somewhere. It would be a Viro axe, though. Very fine. Axes generally you see where there are trees. So, this wouldn't really be a place for it. Like, a reason you saw Lord of the Rings orcs and dwarves with a lot of axes was because they were sort of. And not quite nature like the elves <clears throat> it's basically a way of saying we've been uh, we've been trees there were axes earlier though uh, the uh, the pig dudes the uh, Gamorans we thought in the sewers had them I think so maybe maybe they were vibro or viro whatever they fuck called axes not so much laser the Jedi laser bullshit is uh Quite, uh, quite rare. Mm. Don't think there's much we need to do before I ask up. Wait, did I fuck up? I think I did. Yeah. The evil walks among us. The quite enemy you. is here. We must act. Yes, what boys. Can I do? Bastalisk, go in. Ready, boys. Yes. What can I do? I click uh, the button. He sure. doesn't quite cast it. I like, switch to someone else. He's so like, oh, I guess not then. Like motherfucker. Yes, boys. Kitty. If you want a tap, come up here. It's not a tap for fuck's sake, a, p a pat. There's a pat right up here. It's a pat, there's a snuggle, there's all the things. I've never I've never played Gundam. Seems a bit weird though.
like the blasts on the side of the ass. Hey, Candy. I figured you'd be back. Neither of us is getting off this planet unless we work together. Kiddo. Now, I know the Sith military base had a break-in. And I know it was you. I know you've got those departure codes I need. So what do you say? We join forces, and I can get you inside Davik's base, and right to the Ebon Hawk. We can go right now. Oh boy. Sure. Davik's always looking to recruit new talent. I'll tell him how you won that swoop race, and mention that you're interested in working for the exchange. I'll say I brought you in so he could check you out. He'll have you stay at his estate for a couple of days while he runs some background checks on you. That's standard procedure. This is too risky. We should find another way. You got another plan, sister? Or are you just objecting because you didn't think of it? No, I don't have another plan. I would rather not place my life in your hands, however. I can say the same about you. That makes us even. Fortunately, we both want to get off this rock, right? While Davik's checking you out, we steal the Ebon Hawk and escape Taurus. Come on, I've got an airspeeder nearby to take us to Davik's estate. The sooner we're off Taurus, the better. Fine man. I tried to pick boys up as he's walking about saying meow and he sort of flees the second he notices. Like meow, no! Patch, but not not on any ass. <laughs> oh, I can't remove an item, okay, I see. He's the reddest man. You summoned me, Lord Malak. The search for Bastila is taking too long. We cannot risk her escaping Taras. Destroy the entire planet. The, the entire planet, Lord Malak. But there are billions of people on Taras. We'd be slaughtering countless innocent civilians, not to mention our own men still on the surface. Your predecessor once made the mistake of questioning my orders, Admiral. Surely you are not so foolish as to make the same mistake. Of... of course not, my Lord Malik. I will do as you command, but it will take several hours to position our fleet. Then I suggest you begin immediately. You are dismissed, Admiral. Yes, Lord Malik. So, Candorus, I see you've brought someone with you. Most intriguing, if I do say so myself. You usually travel alone. It's not like you to take on partners, Candorus. You're getting soft. Watch yourself, Gallo. You may be the newest cat hound in the pack. But you aren't top dog yet. Enough. I won't have my top two men killing each other. That's not good business. I'm sure Candrus has an explanation as to why he's not working solo anymore. This is a special case, Davak. I ran into someone the Exchange might want to recruit. You may have heard something of their exploits already. Ah, yes. Now I recognize your companion. The rider who won the big swoop race. Very impressive, as was your display in the rather heated battle afterwards. Yeah, I'm pretty swole. Boys has decided to sleep on the footrest under my table. <laughs> uh, ta hello. You know, Candorus was right. The exchange is always looking for new talent. You could have a bright future with our organization. 
With the recommendation from Candrus and a thorough background check, you could become part of the exchange. Many would kill to prove themselves worthy of this honor. <laughs> I can just go, nah. It intrigues me, mate. Come with me. I will give you a tour of my operations. I'm certain you'll be most impressed. All right, Valley Man. Ah, there she is. The Ebonhawk. My pride and joy. The fastest ship in the Outer Rim. Note the state-of-the-art security system I've had installed to protect her. The shields are completely impregnable. Nobody can get past them without the codes to try and steal my baby. Unfortunately, the Sith military blockade has grounded my vessel. The Ebonhawk can outrun any vessel in the galaxy. But even she isn't fast enough to avoid the auto-targeting laser cannons of the orbiting Sith fleet. I am, of course, working on acquiring the Sith departure codes so that I may come and go as I please. However, progress has been slow. But we should continue our tour. These'll be your accommodations. The slave quarters are just down the hall. If you need anything during your stay, food, a massage, feel free to call upon their services. If all goes well with your background check, you will be invited to join the exchange. I'd advise you to accept the offer when it comes, or suffer the dire consequences of refusal. Him talking about the, the Evan Hawk sounded more like a I know you're up to shit, don't do it kind of thing. Uh, looking forward to forwarding with you, Davik. You will stay in these rooms as my guest for the next few days. I will not accept no for an answer. Feel free to visit the slave quarters at any time during your stay. I must warn you that if you are found anywhere outside the guest wing during your stay, or if you bother my other guests, my security forces will deal with you most harshly. I will return after the investigation into your background is complete. Until then, make yourself comfortable. Come, Kahlo. Let us leave our guests in peace. Okay, we're inside. Now all we have to do is figure out a way to get past the Ebon Hawk security system, and we can get the rest of your group off this planet. No sense waiting around here, though. The sooner we get off Taurus, the better. I I bet the man didn't have this room bugged or anything like that. That would be very silly. So let's let's speak freely in here. N P. I'm so sniffly. All right. Yeah. Yes. Sure. Huh? Let's see what you have already. Big man armor, big power shot, power attack, big man heavy weapons, pencilization. What's the stats at? Look like someone who'd punch people for a living. Hmm. I just need to get the second toughness. Conan thingy. Mm, demolitions, I already have that, I'm sorry. Have some treat injury. Ay, 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 ay. He might also just be talking out his ass. Who knows? He might just be shagging on that as we speak. A lot of feats for the old canny boy. Mm -hmm. May have him punch things. Malay weapons. Oh. Oh, 
was not a lot of uh, booths. A uh, lot, lot, lot of ding dings. We you had there, little candy boy. I gotta stop coming up with names like that for people. What can I do? What? How can I help? The surface of Terrace beyond. Wasn't what I wanted to know. Yeah, what do you want? Do you know some stories, mate? You want to hear tales of my exploits? Of the wars I've seen and fought? The enemies I've seen die by my hand? <laughs> sure, I'll humor you. My name's Candorus, of the Mandalorian clan Ordo. I've been fighting across the galaxy for 40 of your years. For my people, it is the honor and glory of battle that rules us. It's through combat that we prove our worth, gain renown, and make our fortunes. He looks like he should have been voiced. Oh, look at her pastelist. She looks so sad back there. He should have been voiced by Pearlman. Mm, so why work at some Sandinero? Times have changed now. The Mandalore clans have been scattered across the Outer Rim. The Republic is in decline, and the Sith Empire rises to take its place. The clans as they were are a threat, but the galaxy still fears us. <laughs> People think we war out of spite or bloodlust. They don't understand and fear that. We only wanted the challenge of the battle and glory from it, win or lose. And we lost. But now I have no real challenges. Crushing Davik's enemies and the pathetic gangs in the lower city of Taris could not be considered the most glorious of tasks. When I think of the battles I've fought, the thousands I've killed, the worlds I've burned, I weep for my past. We will never again speak of this. We've got work to do, so let's get to it. You didn't so much speak as you talked at me. Yeah, what do you want? <sighs> yeah, I know, Taris. I wasted the last two years in this rat hole working for Davik. I suppose an accurate way to describe this place would be cesspool or dump. You got the rich on top, the poor being crushed underneath, and people like me trying to make a living doing the crushing. It's not exactly what you'd call spiritually fulfilling work, but it gets the bills paid. And on Taris, money can go a long way to making things easier. You have anything else you want to ask? No, that's alright. Your choice. I'm here if you want something done right. Good man. <laughs> I wonder if the buttons just don't work sometimes. It seems like it. Well, small price to pay for the fucking thing not not being binned a lot. Defense 11, ugh. Ugh, you just weren't closed. Wear that, you fucking... Hmm. <laughs> I see you are trained in big man guns. Here's the sword. Enjoy, Candarius. Yes. yes. No problem. Got it. Hey! What's the idea of barging in here? Get out of here, or I'll call the guards. Pudu, Tuni Rama na praka donko tsercha chupapanki. Hey, baby, wait. I wasn't actually going. Damn it! Okay, great. You just scared off my date for the night, so you better explain yourself before I lose my temper and call the guards. Uh. No need to call the guards, you just got lost, goddamn. Okay, I guess it was just an honest mistake. <laughs> and I'm a reasonable man, so I'll just let it go this time. You better pay more attention to where you're going. Opening the wrong door around here can get you killed. Now get out of here and don't bother me again. 
All right, so let's go down. It's quite an annoying chair to sit in. You're back against the ass. Trundling around in here. Right. You cannot win. What a jump, Candorous. Uncanny. There. So be it. I guess we're just murdering our way through us. That's fine. What can I do? Stop yes. getting hurt all the time. <laughs> yes, kid. Yes. Oh, you want little, you want little snout rub? You gonna go around meowing again now? Oh, hello. You come up onto the table in your little bed. Yes. I hear droid worrying about. Yes, boys. Yes. Oh, kitty. Kitty. Oh, you know. You are my breeze. Right in the tits. That oh, shit, he enabled bullshit. NVM. Blag. A lot of XP for these boys. Come flute to pass card. Oh yeah. Hola. I'm <laughs> just standing here doing slow old man squat. Are you not going to shoot back? <laughs> That'll show you. That'll show you. They all fucking just suck. <laughs> oh, I'm so sniffly, what the fuck? Body, what are you doing? Oh, it's the same room, I thought he had two of these. That would be probably slightly weirder. That'll show you. There. What a bunch of guys. There. Okay, that also gives a. Uh, as long as they're focusing on someone else, they get the uh, sneak attack, it seems. God damn. They call me a hard bin foot. Because that's pain. 26, right in his rodeo. I say rodeo because that's what the alien ass uh, race is called. A 
toilet frag mine. And a toilet is a duro ass. In fact, I haven't find any, found any toilets in this game, I think. That's weird. Must be one of those hogwash things where they magic the poo away. It's gonna assume that container was the toilet. Why not? Usually when the quarters stay, it's because stuff comes out. Uh, weird. <laughs> I tried to play nice, but I guess you're too stupid to figure it out. You keep coming back and bothering me. I guess the only way you'll get the message is if I kill you. That's not going to teach anyone anything, you know. Dead mates don't learn shit. I leave. <laughs> oh, this is gonna be fun. What a fool. What can I do? Can I script her to heal shit? Yes? Don't tell me he didn't have anything except maybe his his feet lock it. Oh boy, 15 credits. Very well worth a man's life. <laughs> Anybody no there? Got it. Eh? I have questions. I am going. Do you have a foot locker? He does, nice. Plain old Rodian. You have a lot of stuff. Questions? Alright, sorry. Well, he's more reasonable than the other guy, I guess. Yellow. No problem. Oh. Got it. No Why are they problem. forcing the locks actually Got bin it. some of the stuff in them? Hair trigger, piss at card. That's a Granger no head. Problem. Got it. Rangor. Credits, data pad. Huh? Data pad. Thingy guys. Head still intact. Must be very, very good at swallowing things. A cry dragon of Tantunian. Hmm. Fucking Croy dragon. 
I say it's a mistake, I go into his room, he sees me go across the hall and hack another door. Like a fucking deviant. Slaves. Welcome to the slave quarters, master. Here we have succulent fruits and berries to tempt your palate, as well as luxurious baths to soothe your aches and pains. <laughs> Now this is my kind of place. Would you like a relaxing massage? Whatever your desire, we are here to serve. Mm, talk. But what could I possibly tell you? It is forbidden for slaves to leave this room on pain of torture and death. I persuade. Praise from the guest is a valuable commodity here. Davik rewards the slaves who perform their duties well. I will tell you what I know. Davik rarely lets us leave the slave quarters. We only know what we hear from Davik's guests. Recently, they've all been talking about poor Hudro. He was caught trying to steal some spice from the lab. Normally, Hudro is allowed to get away with things like that because he's Davik's personal pilot for the Ebon Hawk. But since the Sith have grounded every ship on the planet, Hudro doesn't get any more special treatment. They've locked him up in Davik's torture chambers. I like how we said we were gonna ask questions, but he just tells us something. Where's the torture chamber? I think you can get there through the hall behind the west door of Davik's throne room. Just keep going west from the slave quarters and you'll see the throne room. But Davik's certain to have guards patrolling the area. If you leave the guest wing, they'll shoot you on sight. Please, I don't know anything else. Of course. Return whenever you wish to partake of what is offered here. We exist only to serve you. Fuck Candorus. I've, I've asked this. It's, it's your... eh? Weird. Welcome to the slave quarters, good sir. I mean no disrespect, but perhaps one of the female slaves could serve your needs better? Nay. Welcome to the slave quarters, master. <laughs> Would you like... Of course. Hmm. Continue going west, she said. But we'd been there. Oh, we haven't been through there, see. Uh All right. So, Bastila, I heard a rumor that the Vulcars captured you without much of a struggle. It must be embarrassing to be bested by a handful of street thugs. There were extenuating circumstances. And I can assure you, it took far more than a handful of Vulcas to subdue me. Yeah, I'm sure there were 20 of them. I mean, 50, no, 100. Whatever you say. All I know is that if we had more Jedi like Bastila fighting against us in the Mandalorian Wars, my side might not have lost. Bold talk from a broken down mercenary who is serving at Davik's heel. I'd call you his pet cat hound, but they have enough loyalty not to turn on their masters. Insults? Maybe if your master had trained your lightsaber to be as quick as your tongue, you could have escaped those Vulcars, you spoiled little Jedi princess. I was not spoiled. I was given the same training as everyone else in the Order. You are nothing but a... No, I must not do this. There is no emotion. There is peace. That's the problem with you, Jedi. Always chanting about peace and control. Never up for a good fight. Well, except for Revan, I guess. Enough, Mandalorian. I won't rise to your bait anymore. The game is over. Let us continue on with what we were doing. Oh, damn. Bastilisk. If you aren't ever easy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no problem. Got How it. dare you invade my chambers? How rude! I am a personal guest of Davik himself. 
I left specific instructions that you guards were not to disturb me until morning. How can Davik expect me to invest in his ventures with this kind of incompetence on display? I should summon the other guards and report you to your commanding officer. <laughs> I don't work for Davik, you overinflated windbag. Don't work for Davik? Then what do you... Plus, assassins, guards, save me! What a weirdo. He's a fine man. He knows what he's about. Dead though. Uh. Ow. Boss had actually hit me. This angers me. Ha <laughs> Yes? Okay, Basila, I'm not gonna have you just blow your entire load on everything. Immediately. Sure. God damn. That guy's pretty dead. Lived for a while though. But then again, Bastila does suck. Cantanker was sorted him. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Oh, you know, a droid. Ah, oh, loudest fucking thing. <laughs> Bastard, you suck. Fucking hustlers. No remains? Oh. <clears throat> Candace, god damn it. Thank you. You have no idea what it was like in that torture cage. I don't know how much more I could take before going mad. All right. Reward. I used to be the pilot of the Ebonhawk, Davik's flagship. I know the codes to disable the security system protecting it. I'll load them onto your data pad now. You can use those codes to steal the Ebonhawk right out of its hangar. Sell it to the highest bidder, ransom it back to Davik. Whatever you do, you'll make thousands. Uh, ask you some questions. Questions? Please. I've already told you the only useful thing I know. Just let me go before Davik figures out I'm missing. All right, then. It won't be long until Davik figures out I'm free. I have to get out of this base before that happens. Maybe he's got weird knees from uh We've got what from we standing came in for. it. We should get going. The call me gets going for it. Uh. Spice Lab? A oh, remain score. Just a bunch of Boxes. What's Duncan supposed yeah, to do with I'm this? Here. Damn it, Bastard, what are you doing? Fucking us, what? Huh? What can what? I do? What what is it? What mate? Yeah, here droids over here. 
Commandment. All right. Oh, I see. I still save as if nervous that the will pin itself. Computer panel, what's the fucking meaning? A commandment. The gum sub. I thought I fucking did. Nay, all right, uh, Goit. Damn no Sith, they're bombing the whole planet. I knew they'd turn on us sooner or... Well, look what we got here. <laughs> Man stops mid Please, explosion. So, you figured you'd just steal my ship for your getaway and leave me high and dry while the Sith turn the planet into dust? Sorry, but that ain't gonna happen. I'll take care of them, Davik. I've been looking forward to this for a long time. Make it quick, Carlo. The Sith mean business. If we don't get to our ships and find somewhere safe, the bombs there drop and we'll kill us all. Oh, we've been both, I guess. Kulo nod. What yes. can I do? Yes. Now I got stunned. Can grenade it while being stunned. Life is in fair. You may have me outnumbered and outgunned, but if I'm going down, I'm taking all of you with me. This thermal detonator will blow us all to bits. I want to loot Frida Kahlo or whatever. Damn those Sith! They'll bring this whole hangar down around our ears. <laughs> Hug. Damn, Davik died easy. <laughs> Medium. Oh, very fine. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Very fine. I save. Yeah, just black. I'm glad I saved all those people. Let's get this ship fired up. We'll pick up the rest of your friends, and then we'll have to get off this planet. Taris is defenseless against our assault, Lord Malak. They are offering no resistance. The city is in ruins. Resume the bombardment, Commander. Wipe this pathetic planet from the face of the galaxy.
Plot a course for Dantooine. There's a Jedi Enclave there where we can find refuge. Incoming fighters! Quickly, to the gun turrets. You have to hold the Sith fighters off until we get those hyperspace coordinates punched in. Well then. actually crash it just minimized oh fog ah. oh god the sensitivity is garbage the slowest shit I've ever had to deal with Dantooine. Well, that's a Seems bug I've a heard of. Since I last set foot on her surface, though in truth it's only been a few months. We should be safe from Malak here, for now at least. Safe? You saw what his fleet did to Terrace. There wasn't a building over two stories high left standing. They they turned the planet into one big pile of rubble. Even the Sith would think twice before attacking Dantooine. There are many Jedi here. Fucking hell, he's in Black Face. Some of the most powerful masters of the Order. There is great strength within this place. Okay, I need to save and load. Th that might fix this. Calf has a point. We should keep moving or down. We can't just keep running. Malak will find us eventually. We need to regroup. We need a plan. We can get supplies here and recuperate. The Academy is a place of mental and spiritual healing. Something we could all use after what we've been through. Maybe you're right. It isn't easy to witness the annihilation of an entire planet. I know Meshun must be taking it pretty hard. She will find a way to come to terms with her grief. She's stronger than she appears. We just need to give her time. Now I must go speak with the Council. I need their advice on recent developments. After I've met with them, I will meet you outside the ship. Alright. I've spoken briefly with the Council. Damn it. They request an audience with you. We should go at once. An audience with the Jedi Council? It's pretty unusual for someone who isn't even a Jedi. What's this about, Bastila? I'm sorry, Karth, but I cannot tell you. All I ask is that you trust in the Force and the wisdom of the Council. Well, I don't like being left out of the loop, but I'm not looking to get you in any trouble with the Jedi Masters. We'll do things your way for a while. Come. They're expecting us. I will lead you to the Council Chambers. I would very much like to be able to save so I can go fix this bullshit. I heard about this bug. It was It's weird it shows up now and not earlier. Hmm... Indeed. Tender for hell. Mm. 
Oh, please, no. Fuck. Well, that was a crash. So that didn't solve it. Fuck. Ugh. Well, let's see. Okay, that works. Just what? What the fuck? That's a putting in shit resolution now. God damn it! No, it seems to be okay. Weird. Well, it's probably gonna still be fucked. That one killed itself, so I'm gonna delete that. Well, that was absolutely poor timing. Let's see here. Let's see if it's just one of those, one of those things. Let's go. Sadly, I have to shoot bullshit again. This we can skip though, luckily. This will not allow us to skip. Ugh. Taris is defenseless against our assault, Lord Malak. They are offering no resistance. Ugh. The city is in ruins. Resume the bombardment, Commander. Wipe this pathetic planet from the face of the galaxy. Uh, I think this is where it alt tabs itself. Yeah, it does. It sits down there. Ouch. Plot a course for Dantooine. There's a Jedi Enclave there where we can find refuge. Incoming fighters! Quickly, to the gun turrets. You have to hold the Sith fighters off until we get those hyperspace coordinates punched in. Ouch. Oh, this sensitivity. Ass, I say. And the fact you can't aim. Uh. Sith would think. Well, she's blackface, but we can, we can get. Have you, she, no, she's not as fucked as she was. I've spoken briefly with the council. Uh. And on, I'm so. Well, come. Aha! It just uh, didn't like assing around. Right then. They call me fucks around for it. If you are seeking information, perhaps the Jedi Council will help. I'm afraid I cannot. Fucking proctologist droid. Yikukuno no ba mulira chikun. 
Tong hik kun chun ching. Ne bo bo je mata ne pun nage. Dulpi kikyu ana. Yeah, fuck space violence. What a man. I get to ask for you something in for turn, but to ask. Runda di ho tonga kun honga mi. Wana kun bez ching palamule tong king ba no chig. Oh nice. Noda bograshi oni o kumba chin tumbo mutuba. Ka chi kun ida ho donga i king kuno ba mule rat. Sorry, I don't know. Takum juz tak miki grabal mogo. Problems common Mandaloria. Ka chi kun ida ho donga i king kuno ba mule rat chi kun. As Yunik pointed out, those things around the the tails apparently also have brain, and they can get knocked out if they sit on them wrong or something. Should local authorities not sort this down? Mana man atota, haki jukrata bola shui chonga tong. Ka chi kun ida ho donga. Ice. Anything else you can tell me about Gulam? Ta kung just tak miki grabal mogo. Kachichu ita bodung tolpa da pongwale kando nangu chu chu. Chu chu. I keep an ass out for the girl. Ta kung just tak miki grabal mo. One nice man. Aztec Mercantile, nice. All these names, mates. It's the Blum. Tyvem, show me stock. This is all droid stuff, god damn it. Why do you sell droid stuff in your droid shop? Ikukuno no ba muli ra chikun tong hit kun chun ching ne ka chikun ida ho donga iking kuno ba muli ra chikun slimo po dona yeah all men should go uh, stegosaurus had an extra brain in his ass tong patukas mak talaya mucho shak pa kat kie no no nama paule Ka chi kun ida ho donga i king kuno ba mule ra chi kun slimo po dona a chuta unga kun bis. What do you have against the circle race? Right? You are there. Kava dumpa ku palia muka bata. Runda di ho donga kun honka bi. Wana kun bez ching pala mule tong king ba no no te Ka chi kun ida ho donga i king kuno ba mule ra chi kun Jeta ba do wana nidi bobo tong na bung sha no no nya How's it become, are they allied with the Sith Kodam? Mucho shak pa khat Ki ye no no na ma pao le ra chi kun Runda di ho donga kun honka bi yeah. It really sucks to have a droid step on your feet, Godam. Show me your sale. Oh, he sells the things. Swanaski's blade. Jurgen Kadunga's assault rifle. This seems like it be belonged to people. Mm. Hmm. Oh, strongness belt. A lot of stuff, goddamn. Fucking price on this, some of this ass. God damn. The swastika blade seems pretty nice. 
Rayon. Oh, bro. Oh, yo, 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 yo. God damn it. Have a, I have a swap on the Ebungo Hawk. Nice. I'm take some mates with me. Not allowed to. Hello. Runda di hotonga kun hunka bi. Wanna kun bez ching palamule ka chi kun ita hotonga. Ye king kun opa. I'm my own business. Runda di hotonga kun hunka bi. Tie them. What a guy. Not a Jedi. I hear that the Sith torture Jedi prisoners until they give in to the dark. You there, Padawan. Why are you not wearing the customary robes of the Jedi? Do you mock the honored traditions of our order? I don't want to look like a fuckbag. Are you Jedi? My name is Belaya. I have come here to further my learning in the ways of the Force. Many Jedi come here to train under Master Jha. Any who belong to the Order should surely know this. You must be neglecting your studies, Padawan. Well, you said it yourself, anyone who belonged to the Order. Back off, I'm no Padawan. I'm Nile Swedio. I came here with Badonga. Bastila. I have heard of her. They say she has already mastered the art of battle meditation. Remarkable in one so young. Though I've heard she has a foolish pride in her own talents. But as for you, you claim you are not a Padawan? I find this hard to believe. The forest is strong within you. I can feel its presence. If this is some type of jest, it is in very poor taste. The Jedi Order is not a subject for jokes. Well, I have the protagonist, so... I didn't come here to be scolded by you, Galam. No, I suppose you did not. I apologize. Please forgive the abruptness with which I first greeted you. It was harsh and perhaps unfair. My master often warns me that I must learn to control my emotions. I see I have much left to learn. I wish you a pleasant stay here on Dantooine. May the Force be with you. God, um, wishing I had mana. Weird woman. <laughs> See a droid hanging out all alone. He died, droid. What the fuck? The council has decreed you must not leave the enclave. Please return to your room. I do what I want. The council can fuck off. Hmm. <laughs> Yeah, I don't mess around. None that you die, horse shit. Yeah. You kukumo no ba muli ra chikun. Do you have cards to sell? Small sum. What an ass. I buy some of the plus ass cards. I'll now make my money back. Yes. <laughs> Eat the feet, asshole. <laughs> they pass axe, curse.
I, was, I thought I had more than these. Fuck you. Oh, what an ass. Nah. Will I win my first ass a poo sack against this ass? Maybe. Oh, forever. What an ass. I may lose. That's why I need the next one. Still has ass cards, go down. Ouch. Ah, Hakupa, Chekupa. Fuck you. What well, an absolute shit bag. Sadly, I can't choke him out. Hoover Bordadunga booty. Alan. <laughs> Alan. Why are you bothering me? I'm here to speak with the council, not some servant. Please leave, or I shall be forced to tell the council of your rude behavior. Servant. Why are you but what an ass racist? the fuck mm. the house oh I see I got I got disorientated training room they call me trains in here for it. Oh, work belch, nice. Yeah, the Gaudian. Lightsaber sounds porn to see.
Brenn. Ah, so you are the one who rescued Bastila. It is appropriate you are here. We have been discussing your rather special case. I am Jar, a member of the Jedi Council. With me are Master Vruk, Master Vandar, and of course the chronicler of our academy, Master Dorak. Padawan Bastila, I am sure you are already familiar with. All right, running, Gemeninga. So you're drawing me into your little trap, but uh, what now? This is no trap. The council just wants to talk to you. There is much that needs to be discussed. I have some questions for all of you, but um. Indeed, I am sure that you do. I assure you that we will have answers for you. Yeah, uh, why my special case? Bastila tells us you are strong in the Force. We are considering you for Jedi training. Not interested. Strong in the Force? Master Jar speaks out of turn, perhaps. We need indisputable proof of your strong affinity to the Force before we would even consider accepting you for training. Proof? Surely the entire Council can feel the strength of the Force within this man. And I've already related to you the events that took place on Terrace. Perhaps it was simple luck. We both know there is no luck. There is only the Force. We all feel the power in Bastila's companion, though it is wild and untamed. Now that this power has begun to manifest itself, can we safely ignore it? The Jedi training is long and difficult, even when working with a young and open mind. Teaching a child is hard. How much harder will it be for an adult to learn the ways of the Jedi? <laughs> I mean, uh, man says there's no such thing as luck in the D20 system. What are you doing? <laughs> I'll accept this, but I'm not old. Such pride, such arrogance. <sighs> this one is already on the path to the dark side. As are many who are not given proper training, Master Vruk. Only through our guidance can we hope to lead those who have strayed back to the path of the light. Traditionally, the Jedi do not accept adults for training, though there are rare exceptions in the history of our order. But you are a special case. I agree with Master Dorak. Many of our own pupils are leaving the Jedi Order to follow the Sith teachings. We need recruits to stand against Malak. With Revan dead. Are you certain Revan is truly dead? What if we undertake to train this one and the Dark Lord should return? We should discuss this matter more fully in private. Bastila, you and your companion must go. This is a matter for the Council alone. As you wish, Master Vandar. We shall return to the Ebon Hawk and leave you to your deliberations. All right, I can't alt tab this game, so I can't bin you, but stop spoiling things. The dark side is strong in this place. I can feel its power. Is this wise? The ancient Jedi sealed this archway. If we pass beyond this door, we can never go back. The Order will surely banish us. Are the secrets of the Star Forge so valuable? Can its power truly be worth the risk? Uh, 
This morning's getting stranger by the minute. First, Bastila comes out looking like she saw a ghost, and now you. Well, Bastila did mention that you should go to the council chambers before she left. It's no doubt urgent, so you shouldn't keep them waiting. Did she say anything else? No, she didn't. She didn't seem well, as I recall, and for that matter, neither do you. Are you alright? I'm fine, let's go. You got it. Bunch of fine men. Uh, it would seem the full screen thing has fucked up again. I'll have to restart the game for that. Damn it. And it's been the resolution, as usual. Well. Keep restarting the fucking thing until it gets it right. Okay, it killed itself this time. Ugh. Still fucky. It's it's when it's the full sc uh, that resolution thing that fucks with it. Supposedly, there's not really much you can do about it. But yeah, I've tried most of the things. Okay, it's now refusing to do any of the resolution stuff. I think I may need to reset the resolution program. You can't see what I'm doing right now because I have to use screen capture for this, so I'll leave it off until I get it. Nope, still nothing. I literally just have to keep running it until it decides that it wants to allow me to... Uh, until it decides it wants to let me uh, run it in higher resolution. Which is fucking irritating. <laughs> And that enables that, so I have to do that, go like that, go like that, go like that, click this thing again, and then hope it works. Luckily this time, it was just be- what? Now we have no sound. Or resolution, what the actual fuck? Oh, why is it being so awkward now? God damn it. Well, now we have sound.
It seems to just be refusing to give me higher resolution options now. It was doing it fine before, but now it just refuses. We may have to play it in shit resolution. And just fucking tank it. This makes me sad because everything will be fucking st stretched to all shit. As you will see. <laughs> like so. <laughs> yeah, we're looking wide now. <laughs> Which is why I say ass. Yeah, what do you want? From what we saw from space, this world doesn't have a lot of people. I couldn't really have found much work here anyway, so I never had an interest. It looks like a farm world. The Republic has thousands of these places. Ones that get by farming crops and hunting herds of native beasts. But I might have underestimated this place. It seems to be more than I thought. You have anything else you want to ask? No. Your choice. I'm here if you want something done right. Well, the stretch resolution is annoying. The main thing the the widescreen thing does is it makes sure that these things are not up in the corner here, like we saw previously. Yes, what's on your... Dantooine's a boring place. It's all plains and herders and small settlements. Perfect for the Jedi to lose themselves in, I guess. Well, that's all I can think of, at any rate. <laughs> you got it. The planet's boring. That's all I know, goddamn. Achuta Wonga could be Thank you. One nice man. It ran right off at the box for me. And it's probably alright, but the like double monitor getting it to hook into OBS and having a resolution that doesn't make it make it all squishy is problematic. Yeah, I'm not sure what happens later on. Like, I hadn't had that white texture bug before. Uh, the thing is, like, this is one of the few games, amazingly, that has a movie volume that actually asses the volume because it opens up a secondary movie player when the, it shows the movies. It's actually another window that goes in front of this one and plays shit, which is why OBS doesn't want to capture both unless I do screen capture. Uh, <laughs> so, yeah, but that switch in resolution is some of the things that fuck it over every now and then. Uh, Yeah, it's one of the things I found out when I tried to get OBS to hook into the window. Because there were two windows, one for videos and one for not, because it didn't want to record the videos. Astella has told us of a most unusual development. She claims you and she have shared a dream. A vision of Malak and Revan in the ancient ruins here on Dantooine. These ruins have long been known to us, but we believe them to be merely burial mounds. Perhaps they're more than we first suspected. If Revan and Malak found something there. <laughs> Shared dream. It was about a funk soul brother who was right about to arrive. But he kept never being there. He just was right about to show up. Karth hides away boombox. He was playing while both were sleeping. How'd she know we shared a dream? She says she has felt your presence within the dream. The presence she has felt within you ever since... Master Vandar. Ever since Taurus. 
It is not unknown for this to happen between two people strong in the Force. Bastila has described this shared dream to the Council in great detail. We feel it is more than a dream. It is a vision. The Force is acting through you, as it acts through Bastila. Yeah, that's probably f some of that playing in the Valley Man. Bastila seems like a dumbass. Am I having visions now? You and Bastila share a powerful connection to the Force and each other. This is not unheard of. Connections often form between master and student. But rarely does a bond develop so quickly. Whatever dangers may lie ahead, we cannot ignore the destiny that has brought you and Bastila here to us. Together. What the fuck? You little goddamn lentil. You and she are linked, as is your fate to hers. Together, you two may be able to stop Darth Malak and the Sith. But do not let your head be filled with visions of glory and power. Such thoughts are the path to the dark side. The way of the light is long and difficult, as you must learn. Are you ready for such hardship? I like how the, the guy doesn't speak at all like yoga. Which just sort of implies that yoga just had a speech impediment. I'll try my best. Understand that there is little choice in this matter, for you or us. Across the galaxy, the numbers of our order dwindle. We have sent many Jedi in quest of a way to thwart Malak's advance. Many have not returned. The Sith hunt the Jedi down like animals, ambushing and assassinating our brothers wherever they are found. We fear it is only a matter of time until they discover even this hidden refuge. Other Jedi have fallen from the light and embraced the dark side. Giving their allegiance to the Sith and Malak, their Dark Lord. He might also just have liked to f fuck with people. How can this be stopped, man? Perhaps our hope lies in the dream you and Bastilla shared. The Council has come to the conclusion that you and Bastilla must investigate the ancient ruins you dreamed of. Perhaps there you will find some clue. Some explanation of how Revan and Malak were corrupted. And perhaps there you shall find a way to stop them. <laughs> you shall go to where these people got radiation sickness and see why they might have gotten radiation si Oh, you have ra- oh, fuck. Sure. The force flows through you like no student we have ever seen. But you're willful and headstrong. A dangerous combination. Before we send you to investigate the ruins, you must be trained in the ways of the Jedi, so that you can resist the darkness within yourself, within all of us. Otherwise, you are doomed to fail. I remember a picture of... A guy had printed out a picture of Yaddle, and then had a green flashlight. That's all I can, I can think of. I don't remember how Yaddle actually spoke. We don't have time for this. You must learn patience and discipline. The ruins are a place of corruption. The dark side is strong there. We cannot risk sending you there unprepared. You said you, you thought it was just a tomb. You training at once. You have a destiny upon you that you must be prepared to face. The entire fate of the galaxy is upon you. I can only hope you will prove up to the task. This better be a montage. Path you have chosen to walk is difficult. Intensive training will prepare you physically for the demands of the Order. Meditation will teach you to channel the power of the Force. To truly understand the way of the Jedi, you must open your mind to knowledge. Seek wisdom in the teachings of the great masters of our Order. A Jedi is never alone. Others in the Order will always stand by you. You and Bastila share a special bond. Do not be afraid to turn to her when you need help in your training. The way of the Jedi is difficult. It requires great discipline. Yet even though you are a mere apprentice, your potential is unlimited and your progress amazing.
In all my years, I have never seen one who has mastered the initial training so quickly. You have done in weeks what many cannot do in years. I am honored to welcome you fully into the Jedi Order. Soon your apprenticeship will end, and you will be granted the title of Padawan, the lowest rank of those within the Jedi Order. Yet first you must prove yourself worthy. At least it's not the Sith Order, where the lowest rank is fuckbag. What do I need to do, Godam? In the traditions and customs of our order, as handed down from master to pupil for a thousand generations, you must successfully complete three tests before you earn your place among the Jedi. What is this? These tests will see if you have truly mastered the training you have been given, both mental and physical. Upon completing these tests, you will pass from apprentice to Padawan and join in the ranks of the Jedi. First, I will test your knowledge of the Jedi Code. These tenets must always guide your actions. In everything you do, you must always be conscious of their wisdom. You must prove you have a Jedi's understanding of the Code. Return when you feel you are ready for this challenge. That's because they've always been main characters or some other shit's been going on. Okay, I'm gonna try something here. That may make this a little easier on the eyes for you. Men, so give me a give me an attempt here. Don't crash on me. I will absolutely shit. Okay, this might be this might be poor. Right, this this will give you some letterboxing, but it should make everything not so fucking squished. Yeah. Okay, now you're seeing in a proper resolution, which I am not. So... <clears throat> I'm still a, still a scuntrol. Mm -mm. Right. Greetings, my young pupil. Your progress has been most remarkable so far. Are you here to continue three steps. your training in the ways of the Jedi? Want to ask some fucking questions? Few mention those names around here anymore, but I suppose it is just as dangerous to deny they were ever part of the Order. When I was still on Coruscant, Revan and Malak often came to me for additional training. In particular, Revan's hunger to learn seemed insatiable. I should have recognized this as a warning sign. But I perceive the young Padawan's lust for knowledge as simple exuberance and eagerness. Revan was my most promising pupil. One I felt sure would someday become a champion of the Jedi Order. What happened? The Jedi Order moved too slowly for Revan and Malak. We were too cautious in their eyes. They always sought to learn far quicker than their masters felt was prudent. It is one thing to understand a lesson. But to truly comprehend it takes a wisdom that only comes with time. Several years ago, when the Mandalorian threat first arose, Revan and Malak were eager to journey to the Outer Rim to defeat the enemy of the Republic. But the Council felt it best if we moved with care and caution. The true threat, the Council feared, had not yet revealed itself. But Revan would not be dissuaded. Charismatic and powerful, it was inevitable many of the Order would flock to Revan's seemingly noble cause. Malak was the first to join his closest friend. Others soon followed, many of our youngest and brightest, intent on saving the galaxy from the Mandalorian threat. That does not seem dumb. What happened to this noble mission? They were foolish to disregard the Council's wishes. I do not know what happened to Revan, Malak, and their followers on the farthest reaches of the Outer Rim, but something corrupted them. Their ideals became twisted, their spirits were tainted, and they fell to the dark side. There is a lesson in this, a lesson you would do well to take to heart. The dark side can corrupt even the most noble of Jedi. Yeah, get on with it, mate. You have learned much, yet there is much more for you to still understand. 
The way of the Jedi must be entered into with a clear and focused mind. When you feel that you are ready to continue your training, know that you can find me here. This Jedi stuff always was like... It's like priests going celibate. The way you make a low order explosive explode more is by like encasing it in things and not letting it explode. It'll go boom harder. And in the same way, no fucky means means weird fucky eventually. And this is the same with the Jedi Order. Ah, oh, don't do all these things. We gotta not feel these emotions because and and then they end up like Bastila fumbling with their words and not knowing what to do with themselves. It's like, for fuck's sake. Greetings, be aware of shit, pupil. but don't be a dick. Your progress has been most remarkable so far. Yes, yes. Uh, training my shit here. Soon your apprenticeship will end, and you will be granted the title of Padawan. The in the traditions and customs of our order, as hand... Yeah, he's told me that. What tests are these? These tests will see if you have truly mastered the training you have been given, both mental and physical. Upon complete first, said that. I will test your knowledge of the Jedi Code. The you right. must now prove you have a Jedi's understanding of the Code by completing these fundamental precepts of our order. There is no emotion. Uh, there is the Force. That is not correct, Apprentice. There is Fuck. no shame in admitting weakness. Feel free to speak to the other Jedi in the Academy if you require assistance. They will gladly share oh, so it's their this kind of quest. I see it, right. You feel you are... Right. God damn. Hey, Dorak. Greetings, young apprentice. Have you come seeking knowledge of the past? Those who do not learn from history are doomed to repeat it. Or so they say. As a chronicler of the Academy here on Dantooine, I feel it is my duty to share the history of our order with the newly initiated. Unfortunately, our recent history is one of tragedy and bloodshed. The Mandalorian Wars, the fall of Revan and Malak, the rise of the Sith. There are important lessons to be learned from these events, if we do not wish to repeat the mistakes of our past. I don't know, Valley Man. Sounds wrong. Yeah, tell me this. Of course, I could not tell you the entire history of our order. The Jedi have existed for thousands upon thousands of years. We are as old as the Republic itself. Instead, I will begin 40 years ago with the War of Exar Kun. Like Malak and Revan, Exar Kun was a Jedi who fell to the dark side and led an army against the Jedi and the Republic. Exar Kun was defeated but the war left both the Republic and our own order severely weakened. For 20 years, we struggled to rebuild, trying to erase the scars of the terrible conflict. What does this have to do with Ravashiol and Malik, mate? All things in time. You shall learn that history is an intricate weaving of many events. No one <laughs> thing can be understood without the proper context. 20 years ago, the Mandalorians, aware that the Republic was in a weakened state, began conquering small worlds on the Outer Rim. They were careful to choose only planets outside the Republic's jurisdiction. After much debate, the Senate chose not to intervene. As long as the Mandalorians avoided planets that were members of the Republic itself, there would be no retaliation. That sounds dumb. Well, you can hardly blame the Republic. The memory of war was fresh in everyone's mind. Nobody was eager to relive the horrors in a campaign against the Mandalorians. But in the end, it was unavoidable. The Mandalorians stockpiled resources from their conquered worlds, preparing for massive assault. Seven years ago, they launched a simultaneous attack in three separate sectors of Republic space. The Senate had no choice but to retaliate with the entire Republic fleet. The Mandalorian Wars had begun. Did the Jedi join with them? The Republic petitioned the Jedi Council for aid, but there were many factors to consider before we allowed ourselves to be drawn into another conflict so soon after the war with Exar Kun. 
While the Jedi Council preached patience, there were many among our order who were eager for us to join the battle. Two young knights in particular demanded immediate action, Revan and Malak. They rallied many of the Jedi to their cause, and against the wishes of their masters, joined the Republic fleet battling the Mandalorians. Revan was a brilliant military leader, and the Republic fleet began to win victory after victory. Four years ago, the Mandalorians surrendered unconditionally. How'd he get binned? Revan and Malak were heroes, the great saviors of the Republic. A third of the Republic fleet was under their direct command. And then something happened. Instead of returning after the war's end, the ships under Revan's command went deep into unexplored space. They claimed to be searching for the last remnants of the Mandalorian fleet. All contact was lost. For many months, it was assumed some great disaster had befallen the entire fleet. Everyone thought they were dead. There were unsubstantiated rumors of Revan and Malak being seen on a number of different planets during these months. Scattered sightings that were never confirmed. <laughs> Unconfirmed rumors that Revan and Malak were doing donuts outside uh, Alderaan in the fucking ship. Where'd they go? Perhaps they simply went far beyond the edges of Republic space. Maybe they found previously undiscovered hyperspace routes to the ends of the galaxy. Nobody knows for certain. Three years ago, Revan and Malak returned at the head of a massive invasion fleet. Revan had assumed the title of Sith Lord. The hero had become a conqueror. Uh, where'd he get the ships? I'm assuming it's the Republic fleet. Some of the ships in the Sith fleet are those that were under Revan's command during the Mandalorian Wars. But many more are of an alien design we've never seen before. The source of this massive fleet is one of the many things about the Sith we cannot explain. It seems impossible to have created it in such a short time, yet we cannot deny its existence. The source of the Sith soldiers is unfortunately much easier to understand. Initially, the bulk of the force were former Republic soldiers who had served under Revan. With each conquest, thousands more flocked to join the invaders, swelling their numbers. Even many of our own order have betrayed us, lured by Sith promises of riches and power. Well then... For two years, the Sith were all but invincible. Fortunately, Bastila and her battle meditation allowed the Republic to win a few key victories and kept the Sith from total triumph. In desperation, we set a trap for the Dark Lord. Bastila was with the strike team that tried to capture Revan, as you probably know. She was there at Revan's end. That was nearly a year ago, but things have not improved. Malak has stepped in and assumed the mantle of Dark Lord for himself, though he's far from Revan's equal in strategy or tactics. Still, his fleet continues to grow in both ships and soldiers. If we do not find some way to stop the Sith soon, Malak will overwhelm us with sheer numbers. Very fine. Uh, what can I learn from man's history? Revan's tale shows us how even the greatest of Jedi can fall to the dark side. You must always be on guard against the evil that dwells within you. Think hard upon this lesson. I'll give her the brain. May the Force be with you. How dare you? I wasn't done talking to Greetings, you. Greetings, young apprentice. Have you As yes, yes. You should ponder the history of Revan. It can Right. Where are the archives, man? This facility is a training academy. The archives here are restricted to those who have attained the rank of master. We must protect over eager Padawans from being exposed to dangerous knowledge. The pursuit of knowledge is a noble goal, but there are some things that require the wisdom of a master to truly understand. You should ponder the history of Revan. It can Alright. May the force. What a guy of talk to. And again, nice. Good evening, apprentice. Hey, prune. I trust your training goes well. Why don't you wear shoes? I want questions. A Jedi must ever be seeking knowledge. What is it you wish to know? 
Could you have a chair or something? I don't want you staring at my crotch. When you tell me about the lady. Bastila will be a great Jedi someday. Even among the masters in the council, it is rare to find one so skilled in the art of battle meditation. Bastila was there when Revan was slain. Did you know that? You know Garth mentioned? Bastila herself does not like to talk about it. She was accompanying the strike team that confronted Revan when the Dark Lord was destroyed. Her role in the death of such a promising young Jedi as Revan upset her greatly. But Bastila knew she had to set her personal feelings aside for the sake of the galaxy and the Republic. The Force is strong with her now. And without her skill in battle meditation, we would have lost this war long ago. The way ahead will be difficult for young Bastila. And for you. But you must draw strength from each other. May the Force be with you. Is there anything else you would like to know? Bastila sounds like the sort of character who put all her points into one skill. And everyone's like, nice, she's really good at that. And never mentions anything else. Because she's like the shit. Master Donk doesn't seem to like me. Well, um... Master Vruk may seem harsh and critical. But he understands the dangers that lie in your path. He wants you and Bastila to be fully prepared when you finally face Lord Malak. The way ahead will be difficult for young Bastila. And for you. But you must draw strength from each other. May the Force be with you. Is there anything else you would like to know? Mm-mm-mm-mm. Well, tell me about these mates. I knew Revan as a promising young pupil. Revan was strong in the Force, but also headstrong and proud. Such traits are not unusual in a Padawan. Perhaps that was why I did not see the true extent of the danger. Many of the young Jedi admired Revan, including Malak. When Revan set off to challenge the Mandalorians, Malak was the first to join the cause. And they beat my people so easily in battle. And when Revan fell to the dark side, it was inevitable Malak would fall as well. Oh, it's these repeatedly boisterous and even wake up. <laughs> was Revan stronger than Malak? Revan was always the leader, the more powerful of the pair. When Revan fell, we had hoped the Sith threat was ended. But Malak quickly assumed Revan's role and has embraced the dark side power as fully as his old master ever did. Now, Malak leads the Sith Armada against the Republic. Hate and vengeance for his master's death draw Malak ever further down the path of the dark side, fueling his powers until they surpass those of his old master. Only you and Bastila together can stop Malak now. The way ahead will be difficult for young Bastila, and for you. But you must draw strength from each other. May the Force be with you. Is there anything else you would like to know? Oh, God damn. Uh, code. All Jedi must know the code. Its tenets are the fundamental teachings of our order. Think and meditate on these truths, apprentice. There is no emotion. There is peace. There is no ignorance. There is knowledge. There is no passion. There is serenity. There is no chaos. There is harmony. There is no death. There is the Force. I have faith that you will achieve the rank of Padawan soon. Master Jar is most impressed with your progress. May the Force be with you, Apprentice. Oh, this seems dumb. <clears throat> Oh, fuck. <sighs> Hello, Master Sour. I see you insist on wandering the halls of our enclave when you should be busy studying your lessons. Want to ask you about the thing? I suppose such desires are inevitable, though I fear you may seek knowledge for which you are not prepared. Yet I will do my best to guide your quest. Tell me about Bastilisk. Bastilla, the young Jedi holds great promise and great danger. 
She can do much for both the Republic and the Council. Without her skill in battle meditation, the Sith Armada would have conquered the galaxy long ago. But despite her command of the Force, Bastilla is still young. She is a Jedi, but she has not attained the rank of Master. The Council would do well to remember this before we lay the fate of the galaxy on her slender shoulders. You would do well to focus more closely on your lessons. The Force is strong with you, but you need training and guidance in the ways of the Jedi, lest you suffer a fate similar to that of Revan. What's it mean then? I see you insist on wandering the halls of our. Tell me about the code, Goddamn. You do not know the Jedi Code? Without knowledge of those doctrines, all your training will be for naught. All Jedi must know the code. Its tenets are the fundamental teachings of our order. There is no emotion, there is peace. There is no ignorance, there is knowledge. There is no passion. There is serenity. There is no chaos. There is harmony. There is no death. There is the Force. Learn these truths, Apprentice, or we shall all regret the decision to accept you into the Order. Winge. I see you... My training is going well, mate. It appears that soon you will achieve the rank of Padawan. Master Jar is most impressed with your progress. But I cannot help but wonder if you move forward too quickly. It, it, well, I do all the side quests, so I don't move forward that quickly, so I'll, I'll, don't you know? Right, I could probably do that one now. What about you, Basilisk? If you have questions, you should direct them toward the Jedi Council members. Fine. That's this one, then. The free test, this is one Greetings, of them. Greetings, my young pupil. Your progress has... Yes, yes. Tell me about the thing. Soon, you're in the traditions and... Then give me this thing. These tests will... Fur you must not... There is... There is fucking... Uh, peace. There is no... E there is knowledge. There is no... Pa there is... Uh, serenity. There is no... C there is... Uh, Harmony. There is no. There's the force. You have learned your studies well, apprentice. It will not be long before you are a full member of our order. But first, you must pass the second test and learn about the most prized possession of a Jedi, the very symbol of our order, the lightsaber. The lightsaber is the traditional weapon of our order. It is a symbol of a Jedi's skill, dedication, and authority. And each lightsaber is as individual as the Jedi who wields it. The blade is made of pure energy, focused by polished crystals in the hilt. As the second test, each Jedi must construct his lightsaber with his own hands. And oh now yeah, it is hand your sabers. Time. Speak with Master Dorak, and he will guide you through the choosing of a crystal. Master Dongdak. I'm hoping I can level before I ask some bullshit. Hopefully. Uh, I wonder if there's more XP to be had anywhere. I'm gonna have to bind off in uh, about 10 minutes. So that's NP. Still don't have the robes. Greetings, apprentice. Though I understand you shall not have that lowly title much longer. Master Jar tells me that your progress has been remarkable. Soon he feels you will attain the rank of Padawan. Then you will truly be a full-fledged Jedi. How are you enjoying your training? <laughs> I get left in the, the the thing. It's difficult. With power comes responsibility. And only by learning discipline and sacrifice can we truly learn to master our potential. I wish you luck in your training, apprentice. There is much you must yet learn. May the force be with you. I was told I'd have lightsabers for hands. 
I look forward to this. <laughs> I wonder if there's other shit I can do. I don't think so. Please do not disturb me. I have pressing matters at hand. Hi. Achuta. Yeah, that's me. Oh, Jidabodo would have blue lived indeed. Thank you. What a nice man. Yes. Now we talked about this. Duck. Keep an eye out for her. Duck. I'm not allowed to leave, I assume. Oh well, yeah. We should do the rest of this later tonight. For now, I'm off to do stuff. So, uh, time for watching as usual, men. And we shall continue later in Squish Vision. Uh, this should also eliminate the crashers, so that's that at least is good. But for now, time for watching and TTYL.